there is a view that the cities are devi- deriving their police power from that state power? That's true. Uh, from the uh, Supreme Court's perspective, a city is nothing more than a municipal corporation authorized by and deriving all of its power from the state. In New York, that is especially true Hmm. because of provisions which actually say if the governor declares a state of emergency and elected officials in cities are not complying with the state of emergency the way he wants them to comply with it, he can remove them from office. Oh, wow. So for the duration of the emergency, not not permanently, but for the duration of the emergency. So here in New York, uh, there's been some talk that there was a difference of opinions on how to handle a couple of issues between Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio. Right. The power, you're saying, was on Cuomo's side. Yes. If he wanted the opposite of what the mayor did, he could order the mayor to step aside during the duration of of the emergency. Now, that's troublesome because the mayor knows far better than the governor could how to allocate resources in New York City. City. So he might be shooting himself in the foot, but he does have the authority to do that. In New York City, was it the mayor or the governor who put in place the the stay-at-home order? It was the governor. The mayor threatened it for days, and the governor went on national television, including a network that employs me, and said, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, I don't care what he says. And all of a sudden it happened, but with different terminology. (laughs) Now, the question is, what happened? You could still go out, you could still walk in the streets, and if the police stop you, you can just say hi and keep on walking. I mean, I guess the difference there is, as you were saying, between quarantine and something that's voluntary. Well, it depends on who you ask. If you ask Andrew Cuomo, and with full disclosure, a friend of mine, but as you know, since you're a friend of mine, I disagree with almost <laughs> all my friends. If you ask Andrew Cuomo if these are orders, he will say yes. But if you ask a legal scholar if there are orders, he will say, no, the governor does not have the authority to order any of this. Can the governor use his bully pulpit? Nobody uses a bully pulpit better than Andrew Cuomo. He uses it brilliantly to cajole, to entice, to intimidate. That's what leaders should do. But when he says this is an order and if you don't obey it, there'll be criminal sanctions, he's got to go back to Constitutional Law 101. Because only the legislature... So we're talking more PR than we're talking yes, about actually. only the legislature can enact behavioral modes. Now I'm using a, an amorphous phrase because I don't know what it is. Is it a rule? Is it a law? If the legislature enacts it, it's a law that has criminal consequences if you defy it. When the governor issues a decree, there can be no criminal uh, consequences for defying it. 